Hi guys, Lee98 here, and welcome back to another tutorial on the series Mario Kart Wii Modding 101. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a custom Earth model. So obviously when you're online and you're searching for a room or a lobby, you have the Earth spinning round and it tells you roughly where on the Earth people are from and you also have a nice little galaxy background which is quite easily replaced so i have started by downloading a earth.sus file from atlas's website here which i will link in the description and just scroll down click download there and we'll just head to that file here in brawl crate as you can see we have the blackboard.bros which I'm not too sure what that actually does we've got the earth with dummy textures and if I open that we can see here that this is going to be the earth once the model loads but that hasn't actually got any of the countries on it that's just a big ocean back in the day eh? so and I'll just quickly show you that's also the galaxy texture which you can replace so what we want to do is we want to export this go into blender do our thing rig our model that we want to replace it with here it's given me a little not responding brilliant and we want to rig that model to the earth armature and then export it as an fbx convert it back to a dae and that's what i've done i will just get the replacement earth model here and of course it's going to take its time but this model is from one of the many models that I have for a certain character called oh it was right there in front of my face and I've clicked away from it <laughs> called Dark Boo the legendary Dark Boo so we're going to have Dark Boo spinning around there we go can place him there just bring him in with the same settings as normal this should be fine and it should work properly so let's hope that works after it's finished its decoding we should have a dark blue and there's a blue dark blue so you can see he's blue because this one is actually got a texture reference to the south pole just because I exported it from the earth model that I already had without having to go and rig it so I did cheat on this but as you can see there the south pole texture is blue so I'm going to replace this with the texture that I want you don't have to do south pole by the way that was just my decision I can't really explain it I'm just a strange one you know south pole and I think I put the eye as Japan so we'll want to replace that as well just making sure that obviously your textures are referenced correctly so here you can see uh where is he there he is the old dark blue texture and it should come up with its encoding okay Oops. taking its time to load today it's having a bit of a hissy fit so i also replace the Japan texture just for reference as the eye obviously however many textures you've got you can replace what you want it doesn't matter you can even add your own obviously that does make the file bigger though um, we don't want it to be giant so if that was referenced correctly we should have dark boo there we go and that looks pretty good to me I'm not going to add any shaders, you can, it does sort of mess around a little bit, but you can take your time with doing that. Um, but personally, I don't really mess around with shaders for Earth models unless it's absolutely necessary because they they look a bit different to how you would do back model shaders. So we won't change the galaxy for now, but if you wanted to, all you do is you go in and you change your textures here, um, replacing all of them. and there's a model in there as well so I will save as here because obviously you want to save it in a location where you know and remember and 
if you remember from this series, we have a folder ready for us. So you're going to want to make sure it's called Earth. So it is read correctly and save it as a .sys. That's the Earth file dealt with. And it compresses it, says yadi da, we should be done. But no, we like to take our time. And there is another file to open again, which you can download or which you can get from your iOS ISO dump. So this one is called, is it this one? This one, no, I lost myself. Here it is. This one is called globe.arc. Now the globe.arc is slightly different to the globe.sys file as it has a earth res lz uh well res file it's got it in the name <laughs> i didn't realize um so this has got a 3d model again which is of the earth now the difference is with this one it will look very strange uh once it's finished not responding <laughs> it's because this is how if you remember i said the image of the earth on the other file didn't have any countries this is the reference that places them on maps them to where they should be and it's taking its time but i will quickly say you don't need to replace this model for the custom earth to work you just have to replace the earth file in the earth .sys file. Now, because it's not responding, I am going to cut here quickly and we'll come back once it finally responds. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I finally got it to work and you can see here that we have the images with all the countries on. There's my country, the UK. And what we want to do is we want to head to the same texture reference here, the South Pole, which to me, that looks like the West Coast of America, I think. I don't know. That doesn't look right. <laughs> That's not the South Pole. So we'll just replace that again with the same textures that we replaced the last South Pole file with. Namely, King Boo there. But the king of all king boos, dark boo. Oh yes, I forgot about the encoding. Okay, and there is Japan. That looks like Japan. <laughs> and we'll replace that with the I as well. So this is just so it maps properly. Um, don't need to get rid of all of the other textures. It's not exactly a big file. Um, it doesn't really do too much apart from have the texture references. So let's hopefully head to King Boo Custom. And this is really, really slow today, but there we go. We've got it. Okay, so now you've done that, basically everything is done. It's quite a simple one. And all you need to do is save your file as globe.arc. And again, we will make sure we save this in our lovely YouTube tutorials file so we know where it is. And that's what we can put on our SD card, copying it over. So I will save this just now once it takes its time to respond. And I will see you on the Wii so we can check out our custom Earth. Okay, so here we are. And there it is. The custom dark boo earth model floating around in space like he knows it all and as you can see without shaders it works still okay um it's pretty good uh it's nice to do it with a custom background as well but you guys know how to do that just replace that texture so there we go guys thank you very much for watching this episode of the mk we modding 101 series i hope you can all make your awesome earth models send me pictures comment down below what you're gonna do give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already please i'll just show you it still works as you go past there as well 
it doesn't move. It just spins around. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next week for a Dark Boo episode, as well as the subs challenge. Cheers.